Hello, this is Diana. Welcome to my channel where I discuss all things bookish. As you may recall from last week's video, I did an unboxing or an unwrapping of my new planner for 2022. Now I wanted to try something different, but I knew I wanted a happy planner. So I found a design that I kind of always wanted to work with and as exciting as it was, it also concerned me. And that's because it's a daily breakdown by hour. And as you can tell from this video's title, this did not work for me. And I, I tried to use it as is. And I started off filling in the few appointments I knew that were time specific. And that is where I stopped. I have a weekly Twitter chat at 9 p.m. Right stuff, a lot of fun. But since the day ends at seven, I had no place to put it. And that is where my mind had a meltdown. This planner works best for someone who has a structured daily life, an office job or a homework lifestyle where time matters. My daily week is more fluid and I need a planning style to reflect that. So I ignored the times and I went to a familiar layout using products that I was comfortable using. I started off with a kit from one of the mystery kits from the pink room, very similar to this. And I used her ombre heart check boxes and some checklists. I also added in the boxes up top that are not a to-do list. Uh, they're not a word of the day. It's kind of a focus or kind of a heads up of what my day is really going to be about. So Wednesday was Friday. Wednesday was Friday. Goodness, Wednesday was writing because I had my memoir group that day. And um, Friday, that's where it comes in, Friday was a bunch of phone calls. So I knew, you know, days like that. And that's what I like to have. I found that that really helps in my planners and it's something I enjoy. I sprinkled stickers in those open spaces, things that I went back in my old kits, things that made me happy to look at. And they are stickers from Stop and Jot Crafts. This was a sampler sheet. Novations has these cute little cats that I used here. And Novations also has my favorite coffee shop cups that I use almost weekly. Uh, because this was a writing day, I found some laptop stickers from Sticker Symphony. And in some of the open spaces, I tend to default to something from uh, Reflections. It's uh, just a kit of random uh, word stickers, random positive, uh, just nice decorative stuff. That's where uh, Fantasy Break comes in and this one comes in. I also found that I used some of Mambi's stickers uh, me and my big ideas, they have a lot of these books and they all have different themes. So you can tell this one is sort of productive. I don't remember the name of it. But I used some of those throughout here. And I sprinkled those in throughout the week. Now I don't know if these shops are still around on Etsy. But... I liked them, they made me happy, I put them in. So after I did all that, I was still uncomfortable with the lines being here. There's no open white space, like up here. Oh, except for the words. 
but I like the open white space as opposed to the lines. So I decided to try and go back on some layouts that I've done in previous, uh, previous planners that I liked. Now, I used a bunch of stickers that I will never use again. These are stickers I have had for years, and if I haven't used them by now, I planned each column somewhat different. You can look at this. This one week. This week actually takes into account more of the specific times. This one uses the Happy Planner stickers and this one covers up the daily habit which I really like in this planner so I wasn't too keen with this I went on to another form of checklists and here is where I was putting where I toyed with the idea of putting the word of the day but I found that that really wouldn't work because it's not at the top. So it's not the focus. It's not where my eye would immediately go. So I used some ombre heart check boxes, some decorative. Um, I know I have some boxes that are plain that are just the outline, which leaves an open space. I covered up the times here with a little circles. Then I moved on to trying out the weekend where, well this would be another day, but I would have my word of the day up top and I sometimes put a title in. This format keeps the daily habit there and I just tried some different size boxes for checklists. And the final column was putting the title, the, the focus word, I'll call it, up top, leaving some blank space, which I usually leave open for writing. And then I keep the daily habit and I fill this with some box and have a checklist at the bottom. So in all of these layouts, I have a combination of what I like, checklists, and ombre heart check boxes. I'm a big to-do person. So I was just playing around with what works. Do I want some open space? Well, this one has lines. Do I want some open space? Um, and do I want to put in particular appointments? Um, I love this half scalloped um, half box because it covers up most of the lines. And at this point, I said, Diana, you are way overthinking this. Way overthinking this. So I decided that in the next few weeks, I'm going to wing it. To use this or not, with the boxes, with the spaces, the times, they might actually work. I don't know. I'm gonna give them a shot on this week's planning. My overall concern is the lines. The clear space that's open here, I really like the vision of open white space. The lines, I'm not sure, not sure how I'm gonna work with it, but remember, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna see what happens in the next few weeks and see what I like, what I don't like, what works, and just have fun with this. The best thing that happened, the most awesome thing that happened is by going through my stickers to find things that I do not like for these layouts, is I discovered I have so much cool stuff. I have some wonderful stickers that I have never used, that I that I forgot that I had. Seeing those, I plan to use them. 
and I'm, let me say this, I'm going to use them up. That's right, not just use them, use them up. Get rid of them, put them in a space, let them breathe, let them see the light, and I'm really going to have some fun with that. I'm doing that because, you know, I have so much stuff. I'm sure you have so much stuff too, but I'm not going to wait for that perfect layout or that perfect week or that perfect event to use these stickers. I am just going to use them up. And was that going to work? Is that not going to work? I don't know. I really don't know. I think it will work because I am using the things that I bought, the things that I love. How that fits into the lines and the times, well, stick around and see how this works. Subscribe to my channel and follow along as I do this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found something useful and inspirational for it. I hope you can find stuff in your stash that you love. If you, you know, have any ideas of how I can use this or how other viewers can use this, leave a comment down below. I hope you join for the future adventures of Diana's 2022 planner. Until next time, keep writing, keep reading, keep planning, and keep doing.